Very low float SPRC stock is on the move in this uh, regular session of today, the 31st of October 2023, up 70.09%. So the news behind this rally is that the company has um, received uh, a patent, has been granted a patent by the Australian Australian Patent Office for its op- op- for its uh, uh, reduction of opioids using pain management technology. And we can see what's going on here. Not a like, well, yes, a relatively amount, a, re- a reasonable amount of shares have crossed the tape 20.554 million shares. Penny stock, very low float, very low float. Um, SPRC, you can see that um, above average 20.4 million shares. You can see that market cap is also 1.8 million. So, very low float, very, very tiny market cap. You have to be really careful with this uh, stock. So, um, you can see 10 day average is at 234,000 so it's uh, it's currently outperforming the S&P 500 so if we have to see what's going on we can have a look here on um, on uh, trading view and see what is projected so at some point as well this, the price of the stock has uh, ha- crossed above its 50 day moving average so it's uh, projected that um, Weakness is going to come in. It's going. It may set in from tomorrow. Okay, no, it is uh, today. So that weakness, the weakness is projecting hasn't happened yet. Okay, but weakness from today, as a matter of fact. But um, the reverse is currently happening. Currently happening at the moment. So it has uh, upper projections all the way towards. Uh, it has uh, seven point six point eight nine. It has um, eight point two four. It has. Um, 9.36 it has uh, 11.16 it has 13.41 and all the way towards uh, all the way towards at uh, 20.15 dollars so it's currently now at uh, 5.72 dollars and uh, we have um, okay let's take this upper projection of uh, 6.89 and uh, let's see whether we can compare that with uh, one of these uh, moving um 10 day moving average projections we have i think 3.54 so if you want to you know try to compute any probability with these you are going to get um some figures that uh, wouldn't uh, make a lot of sense wouldn't be that useful so we can we can just say um okay well let's just leave it on the bullish note that it is on right now and just leave it that way and ignore the probabilities so that we don't um um, uh, complicated matters. So look at this is a the weekly chart. So weekly chart is where you can find some strength. You know, you can find some strength here. And um, okay, it's um, by Monday the 11th of December. It's projected that it's going to get to 17.34. Maybe we might be able to do something with this. Would be would we be able to do anything? Um, 11 point okay the stock is itself is at 11 so the upper projection is um, is uh, 10.92 so but it's also the 10 day moving average is projected to reach uh, 17.34 so let's see whether we can do something with that okay so we have 17.34 as the moving average and we have an upper projection that is below that of uh, 10.92 10.92 and then let's see what uh, we can what we can get here the moving average the standard deviation is 0.737 um, I'm looking um, I don't think we're gonna get anything wonderful with this so we might just uh, leave it 7.337 just because of the fa- okay yes okay that's 10 day moving average maybe we can adjust the moving average and see whether we can get a higher figure let's see whether we can get um, something bigger 10 day moving average not wonderful um, let's say 200 day moving average Two hundred. we don't have anything there we don't have anything there no um okay let's try something else let's try 50. yeah this is more like it we have 8.07 let's see 8.07 
Okay, let's even see whether we can. Let's be sure of what we're doing here. Ten. <clears throat> Ah, no wonder, yeah. Okay, so we leave it at 50. 50 is 8.07. So let's let's do the marts and smarts and see. Okay, 10.92 minus um, 17.34. Give us a negative 6.42 divided by 8. 0 0.07 we have uh, negative 0 0.7955 yes yeah, so we are getting something so we're getting somewhere so we're for sure surely we're going to get a we're definitely going to get a, a a realistic uh probability so we have uh, 0 0.79 so all the way down here is uh what well, we have 21.48 is the probability 21.48 percent that's the probability that it will uh, get to it will the price will be higher than 10.92 by um, sometime in December yeah sometime in December let's get that by Monday the 11th of December so the probability of it um, getting to 10.92 is 21.48 just based on what the data is you know we just uh, used the 50 day moving average and we got um, that. Okay, so we can actually try and use a different uh, value. Let's see whether we can adjust a value if we can. Uh, let's uh, make it uh, 20, 20 day moving average. This will give us a different uh, moving average, sorry, a different standard deviation, 4.53. So let's see, 4.53. 4.53. So we do the uh, calculation again. Okay, so divide that by 4.53. We have uh, 1.417, 1.417. So let's see 1.417, what is it gonna give us? 1.417 though so this is uh, 9 this is 8 so 7 we have uh, 1.4 1 1.41 let's see 1 1.4 what did we get 1.41 okay so it's all the way here 1.41 so probability we have is a uh, 1 7.93 so it's not even it's not getting any better so probably the further out uh, the better <laughs> so the probability that it will get to it uh, will get to it will get to it the, 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 the probability that the price of um sprc stock will close above uh, 10.92 uh, dollars come monday the 17th of november it's not looking uh, very wonderful but uh, it doesn't mean that that will not happen okay so let's uh quickly move on to the next stock that which will be um lifw lifw let's see LIFW is uh, the, the projections for its 10-day uh, moving average is, uh, is a strong one or uh, projecting all a move all the way towards the uh, $5.85 so it's currently trading at uh, $2.82 right now and a gain of 66.7 uh, percent so upper projection all the way towards 11 point two zero dollars let's see whether we have any news yesterday life uh, wallet announces it's in compliance with all applicable nasdaq listing standards yeah okay lifw let's begin here lifw msp recovery inc 66.96 percent is the gain no news no no fresh news okay so this is what's going on so let's return to the the uh, order book of, for the stock so we have um, pricing towards uh, 3.1 you can see them here 3.13 dollars and then all the way down to 2.01 as well 
some point some three million shares have crossed the tip i want to believe this may be above average is it LIFW <clears throat> okay yeah 7.9 million is uh, above average the stock is um, rallying within a longer term bearish trend it's lagging the S&P 500 unlike um, um, SPRC it's not a tiny float okay so project projections all the way towards uh, 10.67 dollars before that we have um, before that we have 7.45 yeah and uh, I think there's a projection where it is right now 2.63 dollars 2.75 dollars as a matter of fact okay so let's uh, quickly jump to quickly jump to SCNTG CNTG center gene up 35.36 uh, only 599,000 shares have crossed the tape, very tiny. The spread between the ask and the bid is, uh, is 0 .0, 0 .0 dollars. No, that's quite a reasonable, um, that's quite a reasonable um, spread. Not so liquid at the moment. As you can see, you now a lot of shares have uh, been traded. Penny stock. So the stock is uh, in a strong bullish trend. This is the stock is in a strong bullish trend. So let's have a look at, at uh, CNTG. CNTG. Let's see. Center Gene. Let's see whether we can get any news. There's uh, October 10th. And this uh, Center Gene expands its. Uh, multi omic uh, diagnostic portfolio with newly launched trans cryptomic offering this was as far back as uh, October 10th so these there are projections here okay as it has, uh, has broken through one of its uh, upper projections and now at uh, um, upper projection of 1.33 so the next one it's just right below the next one which is uh, 1.54 the next one is um, 1.7 1.87 2.09 2 2.36 2.38 2 and 3.23 so um, ten, but projections for its 10 uh, day moving average we have uh, up to Wednesday the 8th of November of 1.11 not a very uh, ambitious projection on its 10 uh, day moving average so let's look at the weekly chart for CNTG. CNTG, let's see. It's uh, bearish. Uh, the projections for its 10 day moving average is uh, that it's going to decline. But there is an upper projection of uh, $8.3. Okay, CNTG, let's see what, what, um, what the figures are saying about it. What the. Uh, more let's get more details about it CNTG appears to be in a strong bear strong bullish trend it's also up performing the S&P 500 uh, relatively okay not not a very tiny float but then also market cap is also not fantastic but even at that it's a uh, 30.2 million dollars is uh, is the sort of uh, value market participants can uh, manipulate. So, see what you make of uh, these uh, three these uh, three stocks: SPRC, LIFW, and CNTG. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.